Welcome to our four-part series on the rules of Concord in English. Each part will cover six of the rules so make sure to watch to the end, so that you do not miss any of them. That said, let's dive right in. Every time we speak or write, especially using declarative sentences, we try to ensure that the subject aligns with the verb in the sentence in terms of tense, present or past, and number, singular or plural, in order to be accurate in relaying information and grammatically correct. This brings us to the concept of concord. What is concord? Concord, in English, refers to the agreement between subjects and verbs in sentences. It has to do with the rules that guide the formation of sentences such that the verbs used in such sentences match the subject in terms of tense and number. This is important because it helps to ensure that the timing of events being reported are not jumbled up or misplaced in sentences, and that the number of the subject whether plural or singular is properly accounted for. For instance, John went here every day. This sentence presents an inaccurate information because, every day, is an adverb that indicates a routine or daily activities, hence, it cannot be reported with a past tense verb since it would be ungrammatical. Rules of Concord Rule 1, Singular Subject Attracts Singular Verb The first rule states that singular subjects in sentences attract singular verbs in most cases. This is usually the case when dealing with simple active sentences. Observe the following, Mitchell is a loving person. Ion knows the truth. The teacher eats a lot during break time. All the sentences above are singular subjects and such attract singular verbs. Just as singular subjects attract singular verbs in most cases, plural subjects attract plural verbs. Observe the following, the go out on Sundays. The soldiers eat very fast. We know about the Titanic. Rule 2, Subject-Object Agreement. In sentences where the subject is an indefinite pronoun like, everybody, everyone, each, etc., the object has to be singular. Observe the following, everybody has his or her own problems. Not their own problems. Each of the staff members liked his or her present. Not their present, everyone enjoyed his or her meal. Not their meal, however, using, their, in place of, his or her, is acceptable in informal situations. But the standard expression is, his or her. Rule 3, Mandative Subjective Concord. The third rule of Concord states that the verb remain plural irrespective of whether the subject is singular or plural. The mandative subjunctive rule stems from the mandative subjunctive mood which is a type of subjunctive mood that provides statements that are based on hypothesis. Such statements are merely propositions, probabilities and predictions, and such they take plural verbs since their claims have not been confirmed. They are indexed by such verbs as, pray, suggest, recommend, hope, wish etc. Observe the following. We pray you find happiness. The doctor recommend you stay in bed. She suggests you wait for a few more days. Rule 4, Proximity Concord. This rule states that the subject closest to the verb determines whether the verb is singular or plural. In proximity concord, the subjects of sentences are introduced by correlative conjunctions, for example, either dot 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 or, and neither dot 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 nor. The rule states that the subject accompanying, or, in such sentences determine the form of the verb as either singular or plural. Observe the following, either the students or the teacher is telling the truth. Neither James nor his, drunk friends are to blame. Either Jennifer or Matteo has a nice school bag. Rule 5, Many a Concord. The fifth rule of Concord states that when, many a, introduces the subject of a sentence, the verb will be singular. This is because, many a, is treated as a singular phrase that emphasizes each individual element of the group. Observe the following, many a student visits this salon. Many a, teacher knows how to control their class. Many a citizen pays their taxes. Rule 6, Pair of Concord. 
The sixth rule of Concord states that when a pair of is used to introduce a subject in a sentence, the verb will be singular irrespective of the subject having a plural structure. Observe the following, a pair of jeans is all she needs to contest in the pageantry. A pair of glasses fell under the table. A pair of scissors sells quite fast in this area. Stay tuned for the second part of this series.